Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. Today we're going to check out an iconic store in Sydney, Majestic Aquarium. Okay, so we continue on on the Reef Revolution local fish shop crawl through Sydney. And on today's episode, we come down to Majestic Aquariums, an absolute iconic store in Sydney, just located down, uh, I guess it's near uh, Tarrant Point. Uh, you can just see down here, it's a little bit uh, south of Sydney, just kind of around the harbour a little bit there. And uh, there's no mistaking the store when you first appear. Um, it's uh, in the large sort of homemaker area, and um, there's absolutely no doubt that it's an aquarium from the huge blue front to the pictures of the fish, the big roller door exposing all of the uh, dry goods and live goods. So let's walk in and check out what we've got. The store's located next to a party shop, and having that large shark there from uh, Finding Nemo is just a really clever way of bringing uh, kids in uh, just to check out the things and get them interested into um, aquariums. And it's something that uh, the team at Majestic have been doing really well lately with the uh, introductory seminars on uh, modern reef keeping. And it's um, something that uh, I think is going a really long way of keeping this uh, hobby interested to the new generation. Now, I apologize. I'm talking about uh, seminars where we're going quickly over the uh, dry food, food range. And now we're onto one of their absolute draw cards in store. And that's this large predator tank, which, of course has everyone's favorite, a pretty uh, active shark. He um, paces up and down this tank with uh, some serious authority. And um, uh, I was talking to um, Paul about who goes in there to um, clean the tank. And uh, it's it's a hot topic and it's something they get asked quite a lot. And um, it's not one person in particular's job. They ruffle it around a little bit because he's a, a pretty uh, feisty shark. Now, I just want to take your attention back over here. This is brand new to Australia. It's the uh, Triton Core 7 range. Um, I haven't seen this on shelves anywhere other than Cairns Marine before, so uh, seeing this on the shelf was uh, pretty exciting, and you can see the range is uh, pretty extensive. Obviously, they've got their um, ICP testing as well, but uh, the carbon and all the elements as well. Now, once we head down here, we can see some uh, Reef Pure RO systems. We can see some uh, uh, reference checking things there, some... Um, uh, yeah, solutions to check your uh, test kits. We've got a, a good range of aqua one pumps. You can see some macropores there, some chemi pures, good range of uh, Red Sea test kits, NIOS test kits, aqua forest test kits. We come across into some uh, small wave makers. Uh, we've got some uh, in-tank thermometers. There's some uh, tank heaters, which makes sense to be next to the thermometers. Uh, what else we got down here? Uh, we've got some uh, larger or some return pumps as well as some uh, wave pumps there. I just let someone walk past. We've got the uh, full aqua forest range here from their uh, Zeos to their salts to their nitrophos minus to their GFOs, their supplements, the component ABC system. Uh, you name it, the team here have got it as well as the Red Sea supplements. You can see some continuum range there, two little fishies, the uh, blue life range of uh, treatments, a huge continuum range there. See some sea cam products, uh, some instant ocean salts, aquamedic salts, which I haven't seen before. I've got a range of the uh, API chemi, uh, chemical supplements and uh, treatments. Just focusing there on that aquamedic salt, because it's not something I've seen before. A little bit of freshwater uh, range there as well. We'll pop around the corner, you can see some uh, reptile items here. So if you like turtle setups and uh, lizard setups, we've got some small beta tanks there. Uh, down here, we've got some more pond-related items, um, as well as some uh, hang-on filters, uh, all sorts. You've got the uh, air pumps, um, air stones, and a little bit more of that uh, Triton range there still to be unpacked. All right, now, this section at the end of this aisle was all full of fragging gear, and that's some really cool things. Like the building obsession, building and obsession frag carriers, the um, CCAM uh, range of tongs and cutters, some fluval items there. Over here, we had some actual frag tiles themselves and some glue. Um, we've got the uh, mastic range of uh, uh, foods there. We've got some uh, seaweed clips, the coral essentials range, fauna marine, the um, uh, blue life resins. And uh, this is, have a quick look at some of their display tanks here. This first one here is a, uh, a Waveline special tank. It's got the Waveline pumps, the RLSS skimmer, and some uh, really cool uh, integrated electronics system. And uh, the feature of this tank, while they've got some beautiful SPS in there, it's still fairly new, so it's still growing in. The fact they've got this many uh, purple and yellow tanks in there, as well as a, a big, I think that's a Queen Angel, um, gives the tank plenty of movement while those um, SPS are settling in. But if you want instant movement, you don't have to go far. If you come across to the Alpes tank here, and there's some absolute crackers in there, some beautiful hammers, 
some uh, Duncan, some Goni, some Blastos, and in the bottom right hand corner down here, my absolute favorite LPS, this torch, which just does not do any justice on camera, has an incredible green and gold uh, splash through it. Um, each, each stem of that torch has got green and gold on it, it's stunning. Now we'll skip past a couple of the freshwater tanks, because you know me, it's Parker's Reefs. We'll have a really quick glance at this uh, second LPS tank down here, which is uh, obviously got absolutely flooded with blue light at the moment, so uh, we'll do our best to bring out the colors, but it's got some beautiful hammers and gonies. We'll have a quick go past the uh, predator tank again, just to show you a couple of fish that aren't the shark in there. We've got that big guy down there, and there's a huge, well, there's our shark. But there's also a uh, eel down there, which I don't think we can see, and he's massive, he's longer than I am. All right. Let's get over to the uh, SBS tank here. There's some uh, cool pieces in here, despite this being a Sunday. So uh, they've probably been there since uh, midweek or late midweek. This tank's really cool. It's got a nice uh, little uh, dosing holder set up there, a uh, uh, algae reactor, and a couple of pieces that have been held down here. Some uh, Obviously, some uh, locals popped in when uh, that delivery came in fresh and picked out the absolute gems, and uh, I don't disagree with any of the choices they made. Let's have a look at some of the fish here. You can see a tomato clown, a, a uh, lipstick naso, some angels, looks like some little baby clowns there, absolute tiny. He's got a uh, cleaner wrasse, sailfin tang, looks like a powder gray, some more clowns, more nasos, blue green chromus, great barrier reef chromus, another naso, the blue tangs, pair of clowns, uh, some sort of angel up there. I didn't see, maybe a bicolor angel. Now uh, we've got some more clowns here, and this is uh, the Alpius. For sale tank, so we've got um, some cool pieces in here. Um, some mazes, some lobos, I think there's some zoas, cynarias there. I think I can see some um, favias, some deshies, um, some fungias. Um, good assortment in there, and it's absolutely chock a block. There's a beautiful magnifica up there. I was somewhat tempted to bring that home for my clown tank. It's uh, listed as yellow. I'd say it's a highlighter green, but uh, for those who know me, I'm colorblind, so um, my opinion on colors doesn't really count, but nonetheless, it was a stunning piece, and there's a whole heap more LPS there, which um, I'm sorry, we've kind of gone over quite quickly. We'll have another quick look at the uh, SPS here as we come around the corner, and uh, I want to take your attention into what's inside these uh, bits of PVC here. Now, unfortunately, they're not for sale, but these are some huge manta shrimp. Uh, these guys, when I say huge, I know we've all seen those pictures online of overseas where they have uh, mantis the size of your leg. All right, they're not the size of your leg, these ones, but uh, they're the size of a baby's arm. And I tell you what, I would not want to be hit by one. All right, let's uh, get back into uh, paying attention to these fish here. We've got uh, some starfish there, some designer clowns. We've got uh, some more carpet nems in there. Some uh, guys look like they're just uh, recovering. They're a little bit bleached, but they'll um, they'll come good. We've got uh, some live rock tanks here, nice big tubs there from uh, Cairns Marine, and we've got a couple of them there. Then uh, in here we've got uh, some zoas and some other fragged pieces. Come across here, we've got a bit more. This is all the designer zoas in there, so you can see all the prices listed down the bottom there. Each piece is sort of priced individually. We've got a huge school of purple tanks here, which is just really cool to see. Um, there must be a dozen in there, maybe more. And uh, we'll just come around the corner. Let's have a look what else we can find. There's a little bit more dry goods and a little bit of freshwater stuff here. But uh, I guess it's probably about that time of the episode where um, I start signing out. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, Majestic Aquariums and uh, Paul Talbot and the team down there are just uh, one of those stores that uh, have, have just set the standard for so long. So it's uh, really cool to uh, come in and have a chat to Paul about uh, some of his stories about looking after the... the um, uh, late Bob Hawke's fish tank and uh, some of the stories involved with that. He's just an absolute character. So if you haven't had the opportunity to get down to uh, Majestic Aquariums and just uh, talk all things fish tank with Paul, um, I highly recommend it. He's an absolute character and uh, just an all-round good guy in the hobby. So get on down there, maybe even pick up that brand new arcade that we're looking at there and um, have a chat to the team about uh, what stock they got, what products they got, what would take to get your aquarium to the next level. And uh, as always, if you've got any questions, pop it in the uh, section down below. If you've enjoyed the video, uh, make sure you give it a uh, thumbs up. And if you've enjoyed this video and want to see more like this one, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of these videos in future. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, Reef Revolution Tour of Majestic Aquariums. Thanks again. Bye.